morning everybody welcome to my channel I'm Luke thanks very much for watching right we are just getting ready to uh, to leave the plant just been loaded we're going to Bista in Oxfordshire got 20 ton of tarmac on but I don't know where exactly it is yet so I just got to put it in the old sat nav and I've had, uh, make our way there so we're going to postcode OX26 come on OX26 6 H D do you want to talk? hello pardon? well I don't know I'm still trying to find it ain't I? Well, I would have gone by now. <laughs> 60 tonnes going, so it'll be me twice and then you. So I expect I'll be the last one. Yeah. So you'll probably be back before me. It's on London Road, it's all I can tell you at the moment. I think I might have been there before though, I'm not sure. Right, as I was just saying, I think I've been here before and I'm not entirely sure. OX266HD OX266HD Not going to work on my phone because I run out of data, aren't I? Put the phone away, get the tablet out. Arrive at your destination at 8.28. One of the things about being a lorry driver is that you run out of data quite quickly. Um, I got a 20 gigabyte allowance on my phone and I got a 20 gigabyte allowance on my tablet, so I got 40 in total. And I do get through it. Right, what am I doing? Google Maps. Google Maps. So um, I just want to, before I set off, just want to plan the route, double check that uh, I'm going where I think I'm going. OX twenty six six HD. So it should be going on the A four twenty up to Oxford, up to Vista, yeah. And I'm ninety nine percent sure that I have been here before. It's on the left hand side, I think. So yeah, so I've checked the map. I'm happy with the route. The last thing I do now, um, all the paperwork says is Mullerberry Homes, London Road. So basically I have to find a a building site on London Run, uh, Road called Mullerberry Homes. But what I like to do is type in Mullerberry Homes. Du -du -du, Mulberry Homes. Vista, which by the way I've already searched for in my past because it's showing me. And then it sometimes comes up with prices. So you've got uh, prices with, with site names. So there's apparently one called Stratton Park, which again rings a bell. So uh, yeah, Stratton Park could possibly be the site we're looking for. And it's handy to know that because when we get closer to it, there'll be um, yellow AA signs and that hopefully will say Stratton Park so um, yeah very uh, handy information to have so let's sync up the dash cam syncing in 3, 2, 1 so now we're synced up you can see what I can see and I can see what you can see Let's rock and roll. So, we'll be there in an hour and 18 minutes. It's a 48 mile journey. Uh, the plan for today is that once we tip there, we've got to come back here to Cricklade. And then we've got to go back to Vista again. And then that's actually all that we got on today, just two runs to Vista. So, what I'm going to try and do, when we get there, if I can't do it the first time, I'm definitely going to try and do it the second time. I'm, trying to, I'm going to try and get a GoPro set up on the back. 
Um, we'll see if we can get some footage on the back while I'm tipping. But we'll have to wait and see. You were going to cut that, wouldn't you, buddy? This is one of my last days working for my boss. Um, next week is my last week, but I'm actually off on the Friday because I'm going to truck fest. So this is effectively my last five working days working for my boss today, Friday, and then uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday next week. So I've got to start thinking about getting all my stuff out of the cab. I've moved cabs before and uh, it takes a while because <laughs> you've, you've got so many nooks and crannies and little things and you know you, you find things that you didn't realise you had in your cab so um, yeah I've got to tidy my cab up at some point get everything out take my flag out fold that up put it somewhere safe for time being my future I am definitely working for another guy doing the same job I'm doing now so I'll still be delivering tarmac as a tipper driver, among other materials. It will be just for working for the same company, well, working for a different company, but contracted to the same con company, if that makes sense. I'll have a different boss for doing the same job. It looks like I'm gonna have a six-wheeler lorry, so I will be driving a lorry slightly smaller than what I'm driving now. Rather than carrying 20 tons, it only carries 16 tons. I mean, it's still a lorry at the end of the day. And my plan is to get onto class one work. So I, I, I've possibly got something lined up. I'm just waiting for the guy to tell me, yeah, we've got enough work, we'll take you on. So um, he said he'd like to take me on, but he hasn't actually said, I will take you on. He's, well, he has, but there's no, there's no set date. So we we'll just need to play it by ear at the moment. I will hopefully have class one work soon, which will be interesting, I think, for the channel and also myself getting some experience doing class one work. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing that because the sort of stuff they do, they do um, a lot of sort of low loader work with, um, well, not low loader, um, like a, a plane trailer with nothing on it. And then you get bags loaded on it, you slap it all down and things like that. So. Um, they do curtain sided jobs, all sorts. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to working for, with them potentially. And also the money's good. He's told me that I will be taken home every week for at least 500 quid. Whereas at the moment I'll take home 380. Wow, you were gonna go, weren't ya? I'll slow down just a little bit more now. Just to wind him up. <laughs> during the speed limit and he was going to try and cut me up. I wouldn't go down there, mate. There's a weight limit down there. That lorry indicating left, uh, right. Right, so, I think that'll do for now. What we'll do is, um, I'm going to drive there and uh, when we get closer to the site itself, I'll uh, reconvene with you guys. Okay, see you in a bit. Right, so we have made it to Vista. We are uh, just around the corner really now from where we need to be. I think I've been to this site before, I think, but I can't remember. I might as well get into the right hand side lane, so I've got to turn right to the roundabout. In fact, I don't think it's a roundabout anymore, I think they got rid of it. It's a junction now. <sighs> So, we're looking for, remember before I left, I googled um, the company name, the, the building site, which is uh, Mulberry Homes, and I put Mulberry, Room, uh, Mulberry Homes Vista, and then it come up with Stratton Park. So we're looking for yellow AA signs that say Stratton Park. There's one. So, uh, it's saying turn right, which is what we're going to do. Doesn't mean that Stratton Park is where I'm going, it's where I think I'm going. Because the site's all over here. All over the place. 
but I'm pretty sure it's there, right next to me on the left. But I need to go down here, turn around, and come back on myself on the other side of these bushes. I recall it being on the left-hand side, and I don't know whether we're going to be able to get in or not first time. Hopefully I don't drive past it. And then when we get on site, we then got to find the gang. They could be anywhere. So we've got to look out for like rollers and pavers and things like that. What have we got on? So we got 20 ton of 20 mil. So that'd be one of the first things they ask. <laughs> Sorry for yawning. Well, I went to bed quite early last night, but obviously not early enough. Right, so my sat nav is saying left. I remember going left. But there's no sign for Stratton Park to say go left. Mind you, there's a load of AA signs over there. There's three, three AA signs over there, which means there's three building sites to the left. There's one there saying straight on. There's a building site there as well. Oh, I see Stratton Park saying it's left. Yeah, Stratton Park left, look, in between Pioneer Square and Linden Lodge. I've always said to the guys at planning that they should include the the name on the paperwork. It's just easier for us guys. But um, do they listen? No. So we take the cyclist. Right, so it should be somewhere on the left. Sat nav says we're here. Yeah, it's here, look. Yeah, I've been to this site before. Stratton Park. Now we need to find the gang. Where's that lorry coming? back off because now I'm not on a public road. What is he doing? It's reversing. He's got his reversing lights on. And I can hear his beeping but he wasn't actually reversing. Where is he going now? Does he want to come out here? If so, I need to budge out of the way. So I don't know where I gotta go yet. Last time I come down here, I was tarmacking down here. where those cars are. I did those drives. And all this was fenced off. So I said, things change when you go back to sites. But I knew I could turn around here. I don't think this is where I need to be. I think I need to go back into that compound. So that's where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna turn around here. He's uh, waving me, look. Follow the man. All right, where are we going then?
I said, what did he say? I think he wants me to reverse round. You want, you want my ass there? Sorry? Where do you want me to reverse into there? Yeah. yeah, yeah? Please. All right, we'll do. Bit tight, but never mind. Give it a go. Literally inches away from people stuff. Bloody dusty sight as well. He keeps changing mirrors. Where does he want me now then? There. Why is he over there just now then? Jesus Christ. Normally you stand in the fucking mirror, driver's mirror, so you can see where they want it. This looks like a straight tip. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be a straight tip. One minute, please. Forward. You want you. Straight up, yeah? Sorry? You want me to tip now, yeah? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, straight tip. They don't tell you unless you ask. He annoyed me then because like he was standing in my right mirror directing me over there but all of a sudden he swapped mirrors and he was in my left telling me to turn more left. What's that? I don't understand what's happening here. He told me to go up, I went up, he started shouting so I stopped and he tells me to carry on going up. Yeah, the, um, what's happening here, is it's not an actual gang. Like I said, it would be. It's uh, the actual site itself. Yeah, you just stand right in front. Yeah, you? Bit chillier today, isn't it? What? Bit chillier today. Yeah. yeah. Nice Can you find the paperwork? Okay, bud. You got another 40 ton coming? Yeah. I'll be back in a bit. All these horns beeping. Right, anyway, I need to go tidy up at the back and then uh, I'll be back in a sec. Right, so, that was uh, a straight tip, which is nice. Now we go straight back to the yard, get another load, come straight back, do another straight tip. So, um, yeah, nice, easy, nice and easy. Get around these corners. Excellente. Uh, he frustrated me a little bit, that banksman, because he, like I briefly mentioned, he was in my right mirror and he was telling me to come back. And I was, when a banksman's in your mirror, you essentially reverse towards them. You keep him in your mirror. So he needs to, if he wants you to move over to the right, he needs to move over to the right as well. I was looking at him and all of a sudden he dashed across to the other side of the mirror and told me I needed to turn more left. 
and I was in the wrong position to do that. So I had to go forward again and reverse. It wasn't clear that I needed to do a straight tip. There was just someone in a digger just continuously beeping his horn. Like I understand the language of horn. Do you know what I mean? So they weren't very uh, talkative. The lorry driver that was parked next to me, that I had to squeeze past, that red one, I spoke to him more than I spoke to the actual people delivering for. Never mind. At least I know where it is. I've definitely been there before. And I'm gonna be going there again later as well. So, easy peasy. I think what I'll do next time is I'll stop somewhere, attach the GoPro to the back, and you'll see what it looks like, a straight tip. That's the plan anyway. So I'll stop somewhere in a lay-by when I'm close to here, put the GoPro up and um, keep it keep it recording basically. So next time you see me we'll be uh, back at the site again. Right, so we're on our way to our next job now, but as always, plans change. We're no longer going back to Vista where we were this morning. Uh, we're just going down the road to South Marston. And um, yeah, we've got a bit of sheet work, got an hour's worth of sheet work booked, but we've only got three ton on. So, can't see it taking an hour to be honest. Oh, it's still yawning. I think I'm yawning because it's been a boring day. All I've done today is drive up to Vista, which is about an hour, 10 minutes, drive back. So then two hours and 20 minutes driving this morning. I then had a, a 45 minute break, maybe even an hour break. Uh, I then went back into the yard to be loaded, where I was there for another hour waiting to be loaded. So the time now is 10 to one and um, I've done pretty much nothing today. Done one run and that's it. Do this one and we'll see what the time is. We will see what the time is. But either way, we're nearly there now. We're only two minutes away, so I thought I'd film the journey there. Or at least the head part. See, normally I'd get in the right-hand side lane to let all these cars come onto the dual carriageway. I have flashed it but in less than half a mile I've got to get off. It's happened before where you get over there and then cars don't let you back in. We're going to a place called The Hub in South Marston. It's a, um, I don't know whether it's an industrial estate or something, it's, it's brand new. Uh, we've actually started it from the ground up and um, all the traffic lights that you're gonna see when we get there, that junction we, we did uh, we've done we've done quite a lot of work actually at this place. So um, yeah, add something else to it now. Whatever we're doing there. This roundabout coming up is a nightmare to get out of sometimes, particularly around rush hour. Cars coming from the right hand side just come come out way too fast, and it's hard for a lorry when fully loaded to get out. But I've only got three ton on, so it shouldn't be too hard when there's a gap. problem is you've got cars coming round and then sort of last minute they indicate left. They should be in this lane already but they're not, they're in the far right hand side lane. And they indicate left at the last minute to switch lanes which then it's hard to get out. So just got to go over this roundabout and then we're there. Which, by the way, the TomTom -tom I got, I got a TomTom -tom Go Professional 6200. You'll see that green sign says, to the right, Superstore parking with a picture of a lorry. It's a lorry park. It's a truck stop. The 62, the GoPro, uh, the Go Professional 6200 has uh, 50,000 POIs for truckers and other large vehicles. But the truck stop is not on it. So, uh, there's one thing I'm not, 
I wouldn't say not happy about because I know it's there, but like you don't know where other stru truck stops are, do you? So, but never mind. Anyway, so we're here. Just got to turn right at these traffic lights that we put in. Beacons on as well. So yeah, so we we tarmacked all this. It's a brand new junction that we did. I need to spin round, but I don't want to do it without a banksman. Yeah, they're telling me to spin round now. I get on with these guys. Yep. Go back where? Go back there. Spin round the park here. Yeah, alright. Yeah, no worries. I know it was there. Fucking I'm a professional. Yeah, we'll do. How long are you going to be? An hour? <laughs> Look like a right knobhead with the camera out, but never mind. So, this is my truck. Eight wheeler, tipper. Does the job. And what we're about to do is sheet work. So um, we've got to put the pins in and the uh, twist locks. So the pins are these here, which will go in like that. And then you've got the twist locks, which do up tight. They will then unscrew this and lift it up, which that one is quite hard at the moment. Let's try another one a sec. Let's try this one. So. Do that and then lift it up. And inside there, we've got a tarmac. This tarmac here, even though it's fresh, it's cold because it's been on the ass end. So, I mean, I can touch that, but all the way in there is hot, hot tarmac. In fact, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to lift the body all the way up um, to get all the warm tarmac, which is here back on the back end. So that's what I'm going to do now. So, back in the cab. Ugh. Just got to do a few modifications with uh, regards to my mic. So give me a sec. And hopefully now you hear me again. And that cable then just stays behind there. That was Craig beeping his on. Right, so I'm just gonna lift the body up now and get all the tarmac on the ass. Right, it's the bodies all the way up. 
So hopefully all the tarmac now has gone to the back, which is what we want. Yes. So yeah, now I just sit here and relax. Such a hard life, isn't it? Such a hard life. Right, so we are now done in South Marston. Um, we were here for a couple of hours. Uh, plus I had to wait a little bit as well. So um, yeah, all in all, not too bad. I had to get out and clean up uh, in, the in the bed because there was a bit of tarmac over it. Uh, so that sort of tired me out a little bit, made me a bit hot and sweaty, but um, never mind. Um, I don't know what I'm doing next. Uh, I could be done for the day, or I could could be doing more work. I need to make a phone call. I need to call my boss up and find out um, what's happening, basically. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. And uh, I'll get back to you in a second when I know what's going on. Right, so, I've just put the GoPro on the back. Just got to try and get out of here now. Easy peasy. Yeah, so I've just got out, we're just down the road now from where we need to be. I'll be there in like less than a minute. Um, I thought I'd put the GoPro on the back. So you can see behind now and see things getting loaded into it. And uh, also, you can see me tip later when we get back to the yard. Because that's what we're doing. Uh, getting loaded with a 6F5 from here, taking it back to my yard. Because. Um, they recently bought some new land and it was, uh, it's really soft, muddy stuff. So they need to um, harden it basically, ready for winter. So yes, when we get here, I've got to go on the way bridge. So I get my tear weight. Oh, what's these lights about? So I can't overtake it because I need to turn left, it's in my way. I just realised that's where I want to go. I mean, if he was looking anyway, he would see me indicating ages ago. This is Sean Coke Quarry, it's a Hills' Quarry. Um, I'm hoping that the GoPro stays straight. Hope it anyway. So, just go around here. Waybridge is on the right hand side, but we need to go onto it from the other side. It looks like there's a bit of a queue. Not good, it means we're gonna have to wait a little bit. I think at the moment there's only three lorries. No, more than that, four lorries. So, I mean, it's a bit annoying, but now we have to wait bit by bit. And get, get up closer before someone gets in front. So yeah, I'm afraid now it's the waiting game. So what I do is uh, I stop here and um, start again when we're on our way down to the uh, down to the quarry to get loaded with stone. Right, so we're on our way down to the quarry now. It took about 15 minutes or so for everyone to get out of the way. We're going to squeeze down the side of this uh, loader. So yeah, it's a. Uh, I don't normally film in quarries because most of the quarries I go to are quarries owned by the company I work for, and I've been told from head office that I'm not allowed to film 
in the quarries that I work for. So this is a rare treat for you guys to actually see a quarry. Um, I do try and film as much as I can inside quarries, but I don't often go to quarries that I do not think I'm going to work for. So obviously I can't say who I work for. All I can say is that I deliver tarmac, but they produce both, both aggregate and asphalt, which means both sand, stones and tarmac. But um, yeah, quite often I don't film in quarries. So this is a hills as quarry, so I am able to film in it. Which is good, it's good for you. Now, because I was held up there for quite a while, um, means I'm gonna get back a little bit late. That beeping, by the way, is, the, is because I've not got a seatbelt on. Which again, I'm not on a public road, so I'm not required to wear a seatbelt. And also, as far as I'm aware, in the site terms and conditions, you don't have to wear a seatbelt. I know in our um, quarries, you have to wear a seatbelt but I've not been given anything to sign to say I have to wear a seatbelt in here. You will arrive at your destination at 1553. 15.53, so by the time I get loaded and get out and get back to the yard, we've just gone four o'clock. Nearly there. Right, how much do I want? I weighed in at about 12.3, so I need no more than 19.7. So I'll ask for 19.6. That way they won't overload me. Now the question is, how long is it going to take to get loaded from here. That big rock, uh, rock big rocks of piles there, look, a pile of rocks. That's what we're taking. 19 tonne of that. Just need to line myself up in a position where you can load me quite easily. Just put my body up a little bit. Because um, I, I have to put my body up. Let me close the window. He doesn't have scales on. What would you call that? A digger in an ex excavator? He doesn't have scales on it, so he's not. He doesn't know how much he's putting in. But I've got built in scales to in in my lorry. There we go. Look, there comes the first one. Um, so I've got to lift the body up a little bit so I can um, weigh it, basically. Um, that load, what you just put in, was two ton. And I need uh, 19.7. But every load's different. Some rocks are bigger, bigger than others, so um, they weigh more. So in theory, this should be four ton in total. But no, it's 3.6, so it's 400 kilograms lighter than the first load. So yeah, you can't just say I'll put in 18 buckets because each bucket load is a different weight, if that makes sense. Hopefully it doesn't hit my GoPro. <laughs> um, so how does he know when to stop? Well, I beat my horn. When I beat my horn, that means stop. Uh, when I get close to it, I beat my oar and put my hand out the window and sort of do the little bit sign just to say tip slowly. We're on, we're on six ton exactly right now.
Right, 19.3 or 19.7 we want. 19... 4... 19.5... 19.6 and a bit. That's it. Might be just over actually. It went up all of a sudden. That would say 19.8 in the end. Let's see whether we're overweight or not. When I go back on the weigh bridge, obviously I'll get weighed. Come on, up the hill. Obviously now we weigh 32 tonne going up a steep hill. Right, so we're just around the corner now from our yard. So um going to drive on in, find out where we've got a tip and then park up, finish off some paperwork and then that'll be me for the day. My girlfriend wants me to get back as soon as I can because she's got to go out tonight. So she's not happy when I said uh, be as quick as I can but at the end of the day I've got to keep paperwork and stuff still. Never mind. The uh, person I'm working for just went past their yard. They, um, I'm switching employers, like I said earlier. Uh, I'm switching employers, doing the same job in a different lorry, and it's actually closer to my house because I live that way as well. But um, it's not far away from where I already work. Like literally less than a minute drive. You're going to go right on the end. Which you're entitled to. Right. I'm going to undo my sheet. Seeing as now we're off main roads, kind of. This is still a main road, but. Primarily haulage road. In here we go. Hopefully, here be a future boss. I keep that between me and you. Right, so we've got to go somewhere down here, yeah, that's it. Yeah, JK Transport, I don't know whether you'll be able to see them. That lorry over there, I'm taking a truck down the truck first for them. Oh, they're going into there as well. I think what he said is, do it next to that. I think. You want it there, yeah? Okay, you want it here. So, this can be quite noisy when it comes out. It's a 
literally fly an airplane. That wasn't actually that noisy. Lovely job, Lee. Bit of windy and dusty. Alright, so that's that tip. So now we just need to find somewhere to park. Yeah, those JK transport lorries, I'm going down with them to truck fest. Taking their smoking the bandit lorry, which should be round here actually. Don't know whether you'll see it. Gotta find somewhere to park now. Can I park where I was this morning? Looks like I can. Uh, nice and tight to the barrier just to keep as much room as possible. Um, I'm not entirely sure if that's enough room for a trailer to get through actually. So on second thoughts, I will park over there. Lovely jubbly, just park here. Big enough for an Arctic to get through. Right, so. I've got some stuff to sort out. I'll get all my paperwork together. So that was 19.460. That was loaded out of there. So I just need to put that down. Torn coat to here. What did I say? 19.450, I think I do. Had a lorry wash, correct. We are finishing on 310785. Actually, I haven't filled it with fuel, but fuck it, I gotta get going. And the rest of the paperwork is done. So that's all my paperwork for today and yesterday, actually. That all gets put into like that. Fold it up nicely. That can go in the paperwork drawer. What am I wearing? Sunglasses? Yeah, I'll take these with me. Mic is off. Mic as well. Let's chuck that over there. Right, so, dash cam is coming off because obviously I need to take the dash cam, dash cam home with me. The electronics like the sat nav and other dash cams coming off as well. That is gonna go in there. We need to get the other GoPro and uh, see if it's still recording. So that's what I'm gonna do now. You recorded everything. That's good. I'm going to leave the brush it on for now. So, that's how you were attached. Just onto there. Not there. You can the tailgate. That's probably. So, let's climb back down. Oh, I remembered. Let's just climb back down. 
tailgate closes. And it should lock in place. No, it's not locking in place. It was the same way anyway. Unlock it. Second time lucky. Second time lucky. So they're all locked up. So back in the cab. Uh, let's turn this one off. Right, so that's that. That's my rubbish that I need to put in the bin. Um need my work phone, take the tacker out. UK. Need my personal phone. Wow, tackers are taking ages to finish. And that's it then, just need to turn this GoPro off. So, no, I don't want a 24 hour report. So my tag card, so I download my tackle information, got my paperwork, everything else is done. Windows up, lights off, sheets undone. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you liked that. And uh, if you did, leave a like. And until next time, drive safe. Thank you very much. Bye bye.